Hey guys, it's Nikki. It's Sunday today over here and we just got back from Costco and I thought I would film a quick Costco haul for you to show you kind of what we're currently getting. So right here we have some Driscoll's um, raspberries. These are so good. I love raspberries, especially on like vanilla um, frozen yogurt or there's a frozen yogurt store around here called Elements and they have a cake batter flavor. Raspberries on top, so good. Here we have some strawberries. We love making strawberry shortcake in the summer and just eating the berries fresh. Here we have some grapes. They looked really good today, so I picked them up. They were $7.99 for this huge thing. I don't know, grapes are so expensive at our local grocery store, so anytime I can get them and they look good at Costco, I pick them up. We have some organic bananas. I like to cut these up, dip them in yogurt, and put them in the freezer on top of a cookie sheet and parchment paper, and it makes a nice little frozen banana yogurt covered for frozen banana snack. This is something new for us. It's called um, the Brannis Caveman. It's supposed to be paleo inspired by the paleo diet. Um, these are chicken bites, um, sweet and smoky, all natural chicken and I don't know about these. The, the verdict is out and they were kind of expensive. They were $16 and you got 12 bags, but they look like a really healthy snack to have, so we're gonna give them a try. Some organic strawberry um, jam. This is really good stuff. I think this is the third jar that we have bought in so far. This is holy guacamole. I love avocado. Avocado? I love avocado. Love to just have this with tortilla chips, put it over um, bagels, you know, avocado toast, stuff like that. This is something new. We're trying organic uh, millet and brown rice ramen. I love ramen noodles but we don't buy like top ramen or anything like that. So these are brown rice. I thought that we would give these a try and do something fun with them. Maybe add them to chicken stock or with some carrots or something. I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. Grabbed a huge bag of organic carrots. I love to eat carrots, just snack on them. I think they're great to add to lunches. I also make a lot of chicken noodle soup, which I use the carrots for, so we grabbed a big bag. This was also a new purchase for us at Costco. These are brown rice. Um, rice bowls and they're cooked and Jeff got them to take to lunch and I'm probably gonna try them too. Bella Rose and Jeff picked out these chicken melts. They both like to have them for like a snack or a light lunch and they share them and love them. And here is some canned premium chicken breasts and I'm gonna try to do um, instead of tuna fish sandwiches like um, chicken sandwiches mixed with like avocado mayo, maybe some pickle, a little bit of cheese on this sandwich. I don't know how this is gonna go. I've never tried it before, I've never used this before. Um, we'll see how we like it. This, I'm not sure if it will be a repurchase, but we'll go through what we have one way or another. I, I'm a cheese girl through and through, and this is one of my guilty pleasures, another one of my guilty pleasures, cheese and blue cheese dressing. I'm allergic to soy. This is only one of, one of the only dressings that I've been able to find that do not have soy in them or does not have soy in them and it's um, by Lighthouse and it's called Big Blue. So good but it's got a lot of fat in it so this is one of those things that I have but I have to use in moderation because I could go through one of these in a week. It's pretty sick. Like I could eat salads every day and just bathe them in this blue cheese dressing. So good. Speaking of cheese, I have the Tillamook Medium Cheddar Farmhouse Cut. Um, style and we really love this cheese. It comes two packs. This lasts us a pretty long time. We throw it on top of baked potatoes, on top of pizzas, on top of our salads, um, all kinds of fun stuff. Use it in recipes and yes, it's probably less expensive to shred your own cheese but this just comes in really handy when you want it and you don't want to do the extra prep work so we really enjoy having this. Tillamook is my favorite brand of cheese that I've tried. Um, it's just really good. I love the sharp cheddar but my family is more inclined to um, eat the medium so it's a compromise. This is also a new purchase for us. These are bacon cheddar crisps. So it's kind of like Parmesan crisp where they dry out the cheese and it's like you're eating crunchy dried cheese which they're pretty good but this also has bacon in it so I'm sorry these are gonna be so bad for me but I bet they're gonna taste really really good. And then we picked up some lactose free milk. We don't have to have lactose free milk but I just think it's easier um, to digest. So I picked up, it's got a pack of three in there. I wanna say for like 
$4.49 or between $4 and $5. That is an excellent price because at our local grocery store, we can pay $4 just for one um, carton. And this has three in it. So I was super excited to see this at Costco today. This was a very exciting um, find for me. It's Hershey's syrup and it says five simple ingredients and there's no soy in this. So I haven't had chocolate sauce over my ice cream and I don't know how long, but I'm super excited to try this because soy is normally um, used as an emulsifier with chocolate, um, but this is soy free. So there's gonna be a dessert party in this house coming up. Um, I also found these fig bars which are pretty um, good ingredients. It comes 36 to a box, and there's blueberry, raspberry, apple, cinnamon, and everybody in our family will eat these, so this is nice to have something that everybody um, can get into. These are organic um, tortilla chips, and I'll use these to make nachos and also to dip in that avocado that I picked up. Jeff and Bella Rose take turns picking out cereal for breakfast in the morning. It was Jeff's turn, and he picked out Frosted Flakes. These are kind of like yogurts in a tube, and they're by Stony Field Yo Kids Organic Squeezers, and they come in strawberry and blueberry. And these are great if you have um, little munchkins because you can just put them in the fridge, let them get a snack. You don't have to worry about what they're grabbing. And I really like that. So she doesn't even have to ask me. She knows the drawer that she can go in um, just to grab a snack when she gets hungry. So picked up 100% um, whole wheat wheat thins. And I haven't had these in years, and I realized when I was looking at the box they didn't have soy in them, so I thought, oh, it's a good time to try them again. These are great for snacking just by themselves or adding little toppings to the top, like, I don't know, a little avocado and a slice of olive or uh, cheese and turkey or, you know, all the possibilities are endless. Peanut butter and jelly even you could do on a wheat thin and it would be good. Mozzarella cheese, that's for pizza. These chicken skewers are amazing. My whole family likes these. We usually cook some white rice, put it over the top of the white rice, and um, have a mixed salad or something with it. And it's they're really good and they're super easy. You just pop them in the oven and they taste good. This is another favorite of ours. These are baked scallop potatoes. You literally just take the top off, put them in the oven. I think it's 25 to 30 minutes. They are so good. Um, we had these around the holiday time, um, right after we moved in last year with ham. We made a big ham and um, some other stuff and they were a hit, they were gone. They, they're really cheesy and they're just delicious. And then we picked up a rotisserie chicken, which I think is such a great value. Um, we are gonna have this tonight because I do not feel like cooking. And we're also gonna have a salad with it and then whatever chicken is left over, I'm gonna add it to the chicken noodle soup that I'm gonna be making, so yum. So that's everything that we got at Costco today, you guys. I hope you had a great weekend and I hope you have a good week ahead of you and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye.